You go, yeah. go, go, fuck a little kid right now, and take your ass to jail. You get what you get, motherfucker. You did a foul crime. You know, you did kind of mention that. You know, you were the first one to get to him. Like, do you remember what the the, the conversation was at least between him and you? When well, you guys I, were just kind of talking through. I was over, and when I seen it was no blood coming out of his mouth. You know, I done been over, I've been on the top of a lot of dead homies, and with that blood coming out their mouth, I know it's over with. So it wasn't no blood coming out of his mouth, and he was still breathing. Feel me? So I, he had a hole. He had a hole right here, like on the side of his neck, right here. So I put a hole right here, and he had a hole right here on his side, right here by his kidney. So bam, I, I'm, I'm plugging that right there, and I'm just praying in tongues, like God, let him, you know, God, just you know, bro. And I'm telling him, bro, stay alive, bro. Keep breathing, keep breathing, stay up. You know what I mean? Black Sam pull up, bam, jump out, start pumping him, but bro was still breathing. Ambulance came out, and they put the thing in his mouth. He was still breathing. When he got all the way in the ambulance, he was still breathing. He was still okay. breathing on his own, you know what I'm saying? But it was it was literally no blood on the concrete. He, so it might have been inter all internal bleeding, but he wasn't leaking. He wasn't like it was coming out of his mouth. It like, you know, when, when they get killed, it's because it's over with. Once the blood, because you're going to choke out. If the blood come out, the blood is thick as a motherfucker. If you choke out now, if you got a, a professional, he could cut a hole in your neck. <gasps> And get you right, you got action. But once that blood come out, it's a done deal. You know, but bro was breathing the whole time. So whatever it was, it could have been filling in his lungs or whatever, but bro was breathing the whole time, you know. And, and he kept trying to get up. He, he kept trying to get up. He just kept fighting. You see him keep fighting. You know, it's like, you know, you've been drunk and you blacking out and your head keep doing like this and you blacking out, but you, you just trying to get up and you just been so drunk. And, he, and you see, just trying to get up but he can't get up. So I don't know if that one, they said one hit his spine or whatever, but he kept trying to get up. You know? Man, he fought you remember kind of at least the, the last thing you were able to tell him? No, I just, I was praying. I was talking to God at that time. I, I wasn't talking to him, bro. I was talking to God like, bro, God, please, please. And then when they took it off with him, we, 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 in there, we behind the yellow tape, and we in there, we don't know what's going on for hours. We like, you know, we sitting there like, man, you know what I mean? They gonna call him black, like, damn, we can't call. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Then, then when it come out, like, what the f You know, it's like, you know, after that, like I said, we was behind the tape. Once the once they came out that he was dead, man, to the parking lot. That's when the festivities started. That's when, nigga, I blacked out. Two fifth of Hennessy later, then four or five niggas knocked out. And I was I was I was laid down at 77 police station. Mm -hmm. You know, as far as um, you know, just a segue in terms of like being locked up. You know, Eric Holder is behind bars at this point. You know, are you satisfied with that? Like, I know we went the legal route, but nah. would you have wanted to like? Nah, you know, ain't no satisfaction or none of that. It ain't. It, I'm not satisfied. Not one bit. It ain't over, nigga. It ain't there. Right now, I know you suffering. That's cool. You suffering because you ain't high right now. You feeling stupid. You know what I mean? I, man, I done talked to trustees. I got trustees' phone numbers. We got watch. I went to jail three times. I went. I went to jail two good times just strictly for this dumb nigga. To make, I was hearing internet rumors. I went in there to make sure this nigga really, oh yeah, cuz is in the building. He's here, okay. Okay, we can squash that internet, baby. I had bail money. I said, nah, just take me. I wanna go see. I wanna go see, yeah. Are you feeling suicidal? Yeah, take me upstairs where Eric at. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was an OSJ, snatch me up. Like, come on, bro. You think, you think the inside are gonna let Eric get out peacefully, or you think someone's gonna maybe get to him? Never, he ain't never, he ain't never, he ain't never, he ain't never see nothing, never. It's a life of right now that, it's a life of right now that's doing push-ups every day waiting on this nigga hit the yard. That nigga, nigga ass is gonna be like candy to a bear. That's gonna be, <laughs> some nigga right now in the cell right now listening to Nip with his headphones on listening to that victory lap. And one day he gonna wake up and he gonna say, thank you God. <laughs> Trust me, it's going. I'm just saying, you you make it. The big judge, because even the judge alluded to that too. Well, it don't they kind of let him know, yeah, like you, 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 you go, yeah. go, go, fuck a little kid right now, and take your ass to jail. You get what you get, motherfucker. You did a foul crime. Go play with a little girl, a little kid, a little not no little hot sixteen year old, some bitch that's already. Go, but go molest the motherfucker. And you get what the fuck you get. You did a foul crime, nigga, 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 that's what you get, nigga. Simple as that. 
We ain't tripping on the time, nigga. You know what you deserve, nigga. There's some years, nigga. You don't deserve another day. But them days is eating you up right now, though. Them days is fucking you up. Because you was in the courtroom with the stone face the whole time, nigga. Number one, the opening statement, your lawyer said, my client killed Nipsey Hussle. At that point, your dumb ass was looking at the, at the juries like, hey, I was high. I tripped out. Hey, mercy on the court. Hey, I apologize. You supposed to show some remorse, you dumb f But you sitting there like this the whole thing. You play guilty off the dribble. Look at the jury and say, you know what? I was high. Hey, I had a fucked up childhood, whatever. Let the world know something. But you sat there with the stone cold Steve Austin face, nigga. You just. Would that have helped him in, in regards of uh, yeah, how you felt? It, it, that, definitely you would have, that definitely would have helped him with the game so much. Clearly, maybe the judge was like, you know what, man? You was on drugs. You was high. You was hallucinating. You should have never said cuss called you no snitch. Because I heard he never, he, snitch never came. You should have said anything but that, nigga. Anything but that cowboy not even coming to court. Cowboy watching the show. I'm the only nigga heard that part of the conversation. So yeah, I'm showing up to look at this bitch ass nigga in his face. For sure. I'm there. What anybody, what the world got to say. Say what you got to say. Yeah. Cuss pled guilty off the yeah. dribbles. He pled guilty off the dribble. You're guilty. You're on videotape. You're guilty. You did that. You're guilty. So right. throw yourself on the mercy of the court and say, you know what, Your Honor, matter of fact, let me speak up. My bad, I fucked up. Shed a tear. Show us that you had some remorse, nigga, come on.